let's find the remaining part of a circle. So uh, forgive my <laughs> forgive my art artist skills or art, I guess lack of artist skills here. But uh, I pretend this is a circle with a one third, a three sevenths, and then this blue region. We wish to find out what is the fractional part that is represented by the blue shaded region inside of this picture. So we represent the entire circle by one and then we say that we are subtracting from that one one-third and we are subtracting three-sevenths. And then the question is what is the remaining part after we have done this? So recognizing that one is a fraction, one over one, or can be represented as a fraction, one over one, I'm going to find common denominators so that way I can perform this arithmetic problem up here. The common denominator between 1, 3, and 7 would be 21, so 21 over 21 subtracted by, what do we multiply 3 by to make 21? Well that would be times 7, so at the top we'll also multiply by 7 to leave the fraction 7 over 21. And then on the 3 sevenths, to get a common denominator of 21, we need to multiply by 3. So on the numerator I will also multiply by 3, and we get 9 over 21. Now, after doing some arithmetic, this would become 21 minus 7 minus 9 all over 21 21 minus 7 would be 14 minus 9 over 21, and 14 minus 9 is 5 over 21. So the answer to this problem would be 5 over 21. Now an alternative method that would be completely reasonable is to look at this fraction, or at this uh, circle right here, and initially add up the two parts that are being used. So this would be a great technique if somebody got nervous just because there's too many numbers or too many fractions in a problem. Let's just do one half plus two sevenths. So a little bit of a trick here that I've seen in the past is kind of like a cross multiply type technique where you can multiply seven times one to yield seven plus two times two to yield four and then across the bottom, 2 times 7 is 14. 7 plus 4, the numerator is 11. 7 times 2 is 14, and so 11 fourteenths would be the region that is 1 half plus 2 sevenths. So the final answer, the blue that is the leftover piece, still has to be subtracted from 1, but now you can think of a pie that has, or a pizza or something that has 14 pieces in it. If you ate 11 of those pieces, how many pieces would be left over? Well, you'd probably have a tummy ache, but if there were 14 pieces and you ate 11, then the number of pieces that would be left over would just be 3 of those 14 pieces.